let's do some practice on the uh, concept of eccentric flow. Uh, we will try to solve few problems uh, to enhance our understanding on the concept. <coughs> but before we go to the practice, let's uh, look into the summary of the some of the equation we have derived uh, in uh, throughout this lecture. First one is we assume the behavior of gas uh, at when its flow at high velocity obey the equation of state, and there are few relationships here. First one is the equation of state, the second one is the uh, heat capacity relationship. Uh, we have derived the equation on the speed, uh, what is the speed of sounds uh, uh, here, and then <coughs> Uh, we have also some of the equation that link between the uh, isentropic expansion of ideal gas here at, that linked the condition of uh, point two when uh, uh, point one here where the gas expand to uh, from a reservoir, a reservoir point of view. So this is the relationship, and we just learn as well. Uh, uh, and apply all of these equation uh, to the condition of the flow under isentropic condition. We have the four correlation here, uh, velocity relationship uh, that link between the velocity at point one in the nozzle with the uh, temperature of the uh, reservoir. And as long as we know the temperature of the reservoir and the temperature of the nozzle, we'll be able to find out uh, the velocity there. Uh, then, based on this equation, by key in some of the term uh, we have learned previously, previously, we get a uh, few other equations, the, the temperature relationship, pressure relationship, and density relationship. As long as we know well the, the equation, I think it won't be a big problem to address a uh, few, 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 few examples given in the following slides. So this is the first example, compressed carbon dioxide in a tank is allowed to escape to the atmosphere through a smooth insulated pipe. It flows steadily from a tank at a mass flow rate of 5 kg per second. The temperature and absolute pressure in the tank are constant at 90 degrees C and 301.3 kPa. Mm, the velocity at section A in the duct is 100 meter per second uh, determined by temperature, pressure, and the mesh number at section A. So, <clears throat> how we see this problem is that uh, we have a tank at given pressure. So, we have a pressure uh, here, given up there, we have a, a temperature given here. The velocity here is zero. Uh, and then we have another section, section A uh, over here. In the session A, what we know is only one, and the velocity here is equal to 100 meter per second. So, if you want to uh, just just to know uh, uh, the uh, velocity at A, uh, we just use a velocity relationship because uh, we already given the temperature of that. Uh, of reservoir and also the temperature at sorry and and also the temperature at point A so then we can uh, use the correlation uh, directly uh, to find out uh, sorry we given the velocity there and then uh, uh, we then can find out the temperature at point A using this equation uh, you key in all of the given uh, values over there uh, you then we find out that at A we have temperature of 357 Kelvin. Uh, then to find out the pressure at A, we can use the equation uh, because this is an isentropic change of ideal gas. We can simply use the uh, this equation to find out the pressure at A. Uh, and uh, next to find a mesh number. Uh, we need to know what will be the speed of sound at point A. We use the speed of sound equation. Uh, then we can easily calculate the uh, mesh number. So the answer is mesh number equal to 0 0.335. Uh, before we continue, uh, what important here is probably it is more important to understand the system itself first rather than, rather than the calculation. 
so we know that um, so the eccentric flow is always from a reservoir to a point in a duct okay in an in a pipe or in a duct uh, here so we need to be able to assign uh, which one is the parameter that is belong to the reservoir and which one is the parameter that is belong to the duct if we know that uh, the next uh, challenge is just a matter of applying the correct equation okay uh, Another example, air expands isentropically from point 1 with absolute pressure of 1.5 MPa and temperature of 60 degrees, degrees C to point 2 that has absolute pressure of 0 0.4. Calculate uh, density, density at point uh, 1, absolute pressure at point uh, pressure and temperature at point 2, and then estimate the ratio of speed of sound at point 1 to point 2 so here so if you try to to, to to understand the system so look the air expand from point 1 to point 2 so basically point 1 is the reservoir so point 1 is the reservoir so that's why here I send 1 and we are given the condition 1.5 uh, megapascal and the, given the temperature and we also point 2 we also know that it has the uh, uh, pressure at point two, uh, and 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 that's it. So, so then if we know the temperature at point one here, which is the reservoir temperature, uh, we can use the isentropic expansion equation to find the T two of there. Um, to get a density, we can use the equation of state. At condition one because you know the pressure and temperature it's very easy to get a density using this ideal relationship and you can also apply the same equation for uh, point two here uh, given the pressure and temperature we'll find out the density uh, then we calculate the speed of sound uh, speed of sound uh, uh, you can either use this equation so basically uh, you, you end up with with just comparing the square root of the temperature ratio of point 1 or point 2 or you can use another form of equation and the solution for this problem is c1 over c2 equal to 1.21